So I'm just dusting off my video synthesizer project, which uh, will eventually have 30 uh, potentiometers and switches mounted on this panel. But that's not really what I was looking at at the moment. What I thought I'd do is just set up a simple 555 oscillator circuit. So let's get my magnifying glass to have a closer look. So what we've got here is a 555, clearly the black chip. Uh, in oscillator mode we need two resistors, one between pins 8 and 7 and another between 7 and 6. Well, I've implemented both of those resistors using a pot. Uh, the capacitor goes down here between pins 1 and 2. 1 goes to ground, 8 goes to positive. Uh, batteries are for AA rechargeables, so that's giving me 4.8 volts. And then pin 3 there, I'm going to an LED, which goes through a 220 ohm to ground to limit the current and uh, we have oscillation on the LED. Okay, now let's take the frequency a little bit higher. So I'll pull out the capacitor. Let's uh, get a pair of pliers for that. There you come. Okay, not the most elegant way to take it out. Of course the oscillation stops if there's no capacitor. It just locks up one way or the other. So let's put this lower value, although it looks enormous, it is a lower value. Uh, that's uh, 334, so that's uh, 330 nanofarads. And you can just see that the LED is pulsing now. It's flashing quite quickly, a lot quicker than the camera makes it look, actually. Uh, so now let's go higher still. Let's take that big one out and put one of these little ones in. Okay. And now the LED appears to be on solidly, but of course it isn't. It's um, switching on and off very rapidly. And with an LED now, it's too fast for us to see that. So the other option is to listen to it. So let's get a loudspeaker, connect the speaker basically where the LED is. So I'm going to connect it across the LED connections. And now the LED's gone out, but you can hear on the speaker the frequency of oscillation and if I get a screwdriver and turn the pot we can change the frequency of oscillation. Uh, that would take you up to about 15 kilohertz or if you're a younger person perhaps a little bit higher than that 20 kilohertz. Beyond that you would need a scope and a oscilloscope to um, see the oscillation of this device. But that's a 555 working as a basic uh, A-stable multivibrator, an oscillator essentially. Uh, you can either watch it on a LED or listen to it on a loudspeaker.